Hey guys, Budget Girl here, and today I'm going to talk to you about when it's time to scrap a plan and and how to make a brand new one and not die during. It is about 8:50 p.m. where I am, and my lovely aunt and I have been running through my budget since before five. And that's not even counting about two hours yesterday when we were running through another part of it. Because after looking at everything and with this delivery money coming in, a couple things just had to be renegotiated and it needed to be a big thing. You can't fly by the seat of your pants with this. I am a very firm believer in not only having a monthly plan, but having a long-term plan in place to meet your goals. So... In my case, that means I need to decide where my uh, budgeted savings every month is going, where any overtime I get is going, where any extra funds I get are going, and everything needs to be figured out so that you can, I can make the most of each goal and not lose money in the process. So as you all know, I took a job delivering pizzas, and I got my first full paycheck on Friday. And it was a lot less than I expected. Um, so because I got my first full check for two weeks, um, making a grand total of 21 days that I have worked for a pizza place so far, first check was only for a week, and it subtracted a fee for my uniform, which was a hat and a t-shirt, I really don't think cost $30. But uh, I was able to write out and figure out exactly how much I'm making there. Now, what I did was, as y'all saw before, every single shift, I made a little time clock uh, that showed how many hours I worked, how many deliveries I made, and how many tips I made. Now, because they give me a dollar a delivery for gas, I made a couple of totals. One was how much I made overall, which was $291 in cash. That's gas reimbursement and tips. And then $212.83 from a paycheck for my base rate, the $4.25 an hour. Uh, it was over 50 hours that I worked. It was like 56 over the past 21 days. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, so we, of course, had to figure out if what my gas reimbursement was was equal to how much money I spent on gas and we did that by figuring out my vehicle's mileage per hour and how much more money I spent on gas this month when I, than I do in other months. So that got a little bit complicated but we figured out that I made 83 deliveries so I made 83 cents or $83 $83 in gas reimbursement but 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 I spent $93.80 on gas. So that had to be subtracted from my total of what I made. And so grand total for 21 days of work, 56 hours of work, was $480.03. That averages to $7.13 an hour, not counting in wear and tear on my vehicle. Counting gas, but not counting in wear and tear on my vehicle and my person. $7.13 an hour. Meh. Not worth it. The judges have ruled. It may be the town. It may be the establishment. But I'm making less than the federal minimum wage delivering pizzas. Not going to do it anymore. I'm going to have to find a different gig. Maybe um, a night security guard or doing freelance articles online. Something else that's going to net me more for the amount of hours that I'm working. However, I did get $480.03 out of working for the past 21 days. I will also have to work another two weeks. I'll turn in my uh, two weeks notice on Monday. But uh, that's, that's all they're going to get from me. So, but the upside, $480.03 I didn't have before. Uh, which I put as a one-time lump sum payment onto my small student loan, cutting it down from four thousand dollars or four thousand thirty-six dollars to three thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. That is a huge chunk 
of my debt that just went away from 21 days of working. So that was really good. As for the rest of my budget, it was very clear over the past couple of months that I needed to make a new plan. The plan had been to get a $1,000 emergency fund, check, then a $3,000 car fund because my car's a beater and it could go at any time. <laughs> As I was well reminded of by, it should have been funded by the end of this month, but I had a tire blow and then my spare was no good. So I had to buy two new tires plus brake pads, which knocked me out $500. So I only have $2,500 in a car fund right now instead of the $3,000 I would have had. It's just what happens. So uh, readdressing, renegotiating, I've decided I need $5,000 for a new, more reliable car. Now that's in the bank. I'm not necessarily going to, the moment I get it, go buy a $5,000 car. I'm going to drive my beater and tell my beater don't drive no more. But I'll have that five grand there in case it goes kaboom. Uh, the other things that had to be addressed was where is this extra money going to go uh, that I'm making doing pizzas or any other jobs. Uh, the original plan was to put it all into the gas and car fund, but that's, that's a lot of money. And since I'm planning on driving the car for at least another year, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to fuel everything into that just to have it sit there when I've got interest gaining on my student loans. So after much amateurization, arguing, tears, and wine, this is the new plan. And I don't, I don't think you understand exactly how much paperwork went into this. We went around in circles for years. There was wine sacrifice to the budget gods. But uh, the plan is now the $200 I save a month uh, just out of my regular budget. $100 is going to go to my car fund. $100 is going to go to my small student loan. Any overtime I make is going to go to the car fund. Any money I make over and on top of that, whether it be delivering pizzas, writing freelance articles, finding a book in a store and for 50 cents and selling it on eBay for 10, that's it. That's my brother. Say hi. Uh, that's, that's what's going to happen. And we ran, we ran so many different things to see how long it would take for this and how much money we would save in interest for this. And quite frankly, I just want to crawl under the table right now. But there's a plan in place. And I get to follow this plan. I'm considering it etched in stone. I get to follow this plan until my car fund is done, which should be in about seven months. But at the same time, that's, that's only a month or two shy of when I'll have my small student loan done. So by the end of this year, I'm going to be in such a better financial position than I am right now and it's going to be totally worth spending six hours running over my budget and drinking all the wine uh, to do that. So make a big plan and don't think you can make it in 20 minutes. <laughs> budget girl out.